Yeah, we see Dankanawa on the screen. Yes, Dankanawa. Very, very strong fighter he is. I'm Anthony Kiki. Welcome to Dambi Wars. However, this is a game between two known formidable foes. The fighter they're squatting is no new face, needs no introduction. And the person of Shagon Gideway Shamsung of the House of Jamu. And you know, no surprises here. Yeah? Um, they could do <laughs> the could do fighter. And their rivalry was at its peak. You know, the titles were spellbound by the both of them. And finally, in the final battle, you watch it. On the channel, you see Alaye doing justice and giving us a perfect climax to series of uh, action from both of them. So, who is the best uh, among the peers? And uh, definitely, Alaye was the better fighter that day. But here we go again, both of them are actually going to do at this again. No surprises. In Dambi, rivalries never end. They evolve. Like slams the sand. I'm so really weird. What is him? Let's go. And the uh, commentary in house has begun already. See, everybody's just uh, patiently waiting because they look forward to both of them fighting with them. I don't believe in Shamsun on the colored jeans of the House of Jamus against the Laikudu of the House of Tudu on the blue light blue jeans. Let's go! Still sizing each other up. It will be interesting to see the outcome of this game. Definitely. Striking overhand to launch aggressively, put up a couple there to distract his opponent. Alei could be taking it like a man. Strikes the right hook there, followed by a vowel hand by Shamsun. And uh, we'll draw again. We'll try this again. Okay, let's go up a cut there on the right hook. Quick succession, but this cool fighter who would uh, be taking the shot and the clap for Shamsun there. Interesting. Oh, right jab there from Malay. Malay lost track there, gets two in the face. Throwing his jabs aggressively, but he uh, was doing well to protect himself very well. Let's go! Kidu Fighter is punching away, chases his opponent to his house. <laughs> and his uh, coverage rushing just the time to save him. There you go. Alayi Kudu. He's such a fighter. I mean, he walks the talk. Mm, the beating of those drums, like a war call, like someone in the Warriors to battle. He charges the fighters, charges them up, like gets them up top, you know, mentally preparing them for this to, 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 to destroy any opponent in their face. Okay, that replay shows us uh, what we already know. I think both fighters had a good first round. But until Comrade steps in to intervene, go for another round. Very beautiful aesthetics in the arena. You also see fight you know, people with the money doublers, the money changers, moving around with cash. Trying to get uh, fans to buy from them so that they can spread their favorites. And Gideway will come to gyrate to the beating drums. Trying strength and feeding the energy to the drums as well. The cycle of uh, energy exchange goes back into the arena already. Kudu from a distance becomes on him and the attack overhand and uppercut. Striking overcut skin. Kudu takes it. Kudu's style is just defending and uh, striking his jabs. Quick precision. Remember the both of them have superpowers. Kudu uh, would strike you 
uppercut overhand, swinging left and back, right and front, you know, just to distract you from seeing what was coming. That was so close, he nearly took down a life photo. Whoa! Very good shot there, and he was straight to the head boy. Like he could do is such a formidable fighter. He would stand any punch with his own superpower. He's standing your punch, he's just defending with that hands up, and he bounces in the game. You see the crowd, they're loving it when he does that. Again, he chases a chance into his uh, fan days. I have to want a fellow trying to be dead. Get the fighters to drop the rivalry and uh, let it go for today. Yes, but uh, Aleiko is still in action. Then Ali negotiating with uh, Samson Gidiwe, telling him to let it go. Uh, but he wants to fight it out. Let him fight if he wants to fight. For this is what warriors are made of. Where it comes on, Ali could do why Dan Ali is still appealing to put the. <laughs> out that I is trying to make peace. Samson Gidiwe is not happy that. Strong back to the fight there, uh, the drumming section. They are urging him all with the bitty jaws. They are pumping energy into him. Don't be surprised, he's gonna go for it again. Like, yes. Sight are like to the distance and attacks. Overheads and uppercuts launching the aggressively for both fighters. Everybody gives them the space they need to fight uppercuts there. Strikes another uppercut on Alaiku. Punches his head left and right. Alaiku is just defending and slamming his own uppercut and like, right hooks. Let's see who's gonna go down first, and both fighters are still very, you know, sturdily standing. You can see Philo still stepping on this while he finally gets them. Watch the spectators to clap for them, give them a round of applause, and let them walk away with their dignity intact. Okay, they finally hug it out. It was a beautiful scene. The comrade is just awesome, young man. This is the stuff of legends, what we love to see. And I could wish he could actually go at this and knock his opponent out again like he did last time. But um, they will leave to fight another day as he's starting to the spectators to go collect some cash gift from a big time of man. This is the content we signed up for, premium content there. Yeah. Like Kudu. Okay, this is a beautiful sight. Whoa. A big fan of Samsung Gidiwe. Totally not the cash. It's the money ray. Standing. The most beautiful spot in the world. Stay tuned for more. Feast of Dan Baby with you. Thank you.